Son. And the whole room was filled up with light. So this is a smart way of doing things. Then give it to someone. This way spread the knowledge, the way life spreads, we spread the knowledge throughout the globe. We have more than 100 friendly countries of India, developing countries, who benefit from this IT courses. So we are spreading the knowledge like the life spreads to all these countries. In fact, 160 friendly countries have benefited from this course. In case of Serbia, we started in 2008, and already we had we had 450, 160 IT trainees. Some of whom have come today, benefited by attending the courses. We have a wide variety of courses, more than 300 training courses, and some of them are in the fields which is very much in and new, with business management, information technology, even modern things like big data, cyber security that you need to know to perform, to function in a modern world. And even yoga. We have some yoga students also who have learned yoga in India. So we have a large spectrum, like the, you know, the rainbow spectrum. From violet to red, we have a large spectrum. About yoga, I must say I'm very happy very happy about the Serbians. In their spontaneous interest they take in Indian yoga and Indian culture. This year in June, we had this in front of National Assembly of Serbia. We had the performance of, with the celebration of International Day of Yoga. And among others, among 200 Serbians who came that day, Madam Bucic came and spent one hour and practiced yoga with us. I'm very thankful to her and to all Serbians who came particularly from the yoga associations and all yoga lovers. Almost for last one year, we have been celebrating the 150th birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi. I have given a number of speeches in Serbian schools. I have seen what kind of warm response we get. We have done tree plantation in the Ustia Park. Honorable Mayor came forward for that. We had a cycling event. A lot of Serbians came to cycle in the memory of Gandhi. The dance program in the memory of Mahatma Gandhi because that, the theme of the dance particularly focused on his ideology. Then we had in 2018 a uh, visit of uh, Minister Dantich to, to uh, Delhi, it was in May last year, and then uh, uh, we had a great honor and privilege to welcome here in Belgrade Vice President of India, uh, Sri Vekaya Ranayu. Uh, during all these visits, our two countries have established new scope, scopes of cooperation and uh, uh, we, are, we, are, we continued to cooperate uh, and to work even, even more since uh, those, uh, those uh, several visits. Uh, but not only high-ranked high and high-level visits, uh, but also uh, uh, that, that brings uh, our, our, our countries and our peoples um, uh, close together. It is also people-to-people uh, -people contacts and exchange programs. And um, in that sense, it's absolutely no doubt that one of such programs is uh, Indian Technical and Economic Cooperation, also known as, as ITEC, which is organized annually by Indian government. As the ambassador said, um, this program started in 2000, 2008 uh, and uh, to be implemented in, in Serbia at uh, that time. Uh, in, in that particular moment, we had only, only two participants, and that's what correct me if I'm, if I'm wrong. Uh, but uh, after uh, that year until now, we had 160 candidates that sees the opportunity to participate in other courses uh, of, uh, and of whom some, some of you are here today. And it was always interested me and I have read a lot about that. When I was a kid, I could hear Hindi, Hindu music, the Indian dance to help students succeed and learn and colleagues from all around the world 
who lived as one at, at Shanti, Prashanti Kutiram, woke up at 4 a.m., ate the same meals per day, done the same exercises, attended the same classes, and went to sleep at the same time. Of course, I would like to point out that I am extremely satisfied with the quality of the program of the course as well as the quality of the lectures. <coughs> Even since I finished the course, I have been working on transferring the gain knowledge to my colleagues. Uh, my experience in India was really amazing. In one sense, as Maya said, you know, this is the place where is the birthplace of yoga. And when you come there to learn anything about yoga, meditation and all these things, you really get the source, you get the real thing. But another thing which really stays with me is Indian people. You know how they are more open and very welcoming. And as His Excellency said, the light which you are sharing, that was the place I'm going there. <laughs>